How do flowering plants reproduce? Plants are living things, and like all living things, they perform vital functions like nutrition and respiration to stay alive. They also reproduce to ensure the continuity of their kinds. Let us consider this flowering plant. Each structure in this plant has a specific role to ensure its survival. Which of these structures ensures the reproduction of this plant? Flowers. Flowers are the reproductive structures of all flowering plants. Why? Because flowers contain reproductive organs that produce sex cells. Let us observe this flower. It is a complete flower. It contains petals, sepals, stamens, and a pistil. Stamens are the male reproductive organs. They are made up of a filament and an anther. The anther is made up of four sacs containing the pollen grains. The female reproductive organ is the pistil. The pistil has three parts, the stigma, the style, and the ovary. Inside the ovary is the female sex cell, the ovule. Pollination. Pollen grains are released from the anther and are transported to the pistil, either to the pistil of the same flower or to the pistil of another flower. How do pollen grains travel from the stamen to the pistil? Through pollinating agents, like wind and water, insects, birds, and other animals. The transfer of pollen grains from a stamen to a pistil is called pollination. When a pollen grain reaches the pistil, it sticks on the stigma. The pollen grain forms a tube that goes down the style to reach the ovule inside the ovary. Fertilization takes place when the male sex cell, transported by the pollen tube, unites with the ovule to produce a fertilized egg. The ovule becomes a seed containing a miniature plant, the embryo. The ovary changes into a fruit. The other parts of the flower wilt and fall off. Many flowers have an ovary with multiple ovules. Each ovule is fertilized and becomes a seed. The ovary becomes a fruit with multiple seeds.